Thank you. Leeds Council will decide next week whether to install solar panels on some of its buildings, including schools, museums and leisure centres. But in these days of soaring fuel bills, could householders also save money by doing the same thing on the roofs of their own homes? Paul Hudson has been investigating solar power as a possible solution. And it says here he's actually put his money where his mouth is. Energy prices are soaring and we're all looking for ways to keep our bills down. Earlier this month, British Gas increased their prices by up to 20%. So what can we do to cut the cost of keeping our lights on and keeping our homes warm? Well, one way of cutting your electricity bills is to generate your own clean green electricity. And I've finally taken the plunge and got solar panels fitted on my roof. Well, the bottom line is, unless we all want to go back and live in a cave, we can't get away from the fact that we need electricity. But you might be surprised by just how much some of our appliances guzzle power. This kettle, for example, the worst offender, three kilowatts every time you turn it on the oven, two and a half kilowatts, and then you've got things like the dishwasher. Now, on a sunny day, my solar panels generate three kilowatts of electricity. And even on a cloudy day, as you can see, power is still being generated. The cost of my solar panels came to £11,000. My income per year, including government tariffs and savings on my electricity bills, is £1,250 a year, which means after eight years they will have paid for themselves and will be making money. And if you can't afford to pay for the solar panels yourself, there are companies out there who will fit them for free. Andrew Cooper from the Energy Saving Trust explained how it works. They will take the feed-in tariff for themselves, but the electricity that's generated off the roof will be used within your building. And that could save you anywhere between £150 and £300 a year. But as good as all this sounds, you still need to do your homework. A recent witch report highlighted evidence of some mis-selling in the industry. The important thing is to make sure that uh, any company that, that you use are members of the microgeneration certification scheme and that they're members of the Real Assurance Code, which is about the selling of renewable energy products. If you've got any doubts at all, the Energy Saving Trust will offer free, independent and impartial advice to you, and just give us a call, and we'll be more than happy to help. With electricity bills expected to keep on rising, producing your own clean electricity has never looked so good. Paul Hudson, BBC Look North, Leeds. And Paul's been blogging on this subject, solar panels not spending money, at bbc.co.uk slash Paul Hudson. And of course he'll be back with the weekend weather forecast, possibly from the west wing of his home, at the end of the programme.